How many panic attacks can we give a, a little Yoshi in, like, the span between two episodes? Because this just keeps happening over and over and over, and it's really hilarious that we're just outside of its reach. All right, let's get it. Ah, what is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we took down the Shadow Sirens one, hopefully, last. Uh, last time, it was pretty great. Freaking had uh, had Vivian with us, took him down. That was very satisfying. And continued on through the Shadow Palace after opening up a new path. And now we are continuing through the Shadow Palace and taking out enemies along the way. All right, so I'm definitely trying to gun for at least one more level up before we uh, get to the end of this. I don't need... Well, I'll take that over the, the Repel Cape, honestly. Okay, we got some stars here, which is very interesting. Um, all right, I kind of want to... I need to remember that pattern, probably. Let's head up this way now. Okay, we got a locked door, which is very good to know. Uh, shoot. How do I do? How do I do, though? Can't do anything with this. What the heck? Well, this is interesting and a bit of a weird predicament. Oh, there it is. I see it. Okay. So all we got to do is get Coops out. And just give the good old hop. There we go. Perfect. Nice and simple. And then head on into the next room. I meant to open it. Thank you. All righty. Let's go on through. See what we can find. Okay, let's get this thing. Ooh, yes, I will definitely take another life stream now. Um, I'm going to get rid of the spite pouch. I don't need that at all. What do we got up this way? Oh, hold on. Do this thing. Eh, there we go. All right, so for this one, okay, I, I think I remember the pattern. This, ah, uh, yes, this part. So, I'm going to use... Well, first of all, I'm going to get Toddy back out. We're going to take on this guy. Just so he's not in our way. How many are there? Just the one. Okay, that's not too bad. And then I should be able to take... No! Son of a gun! Oh, it's so frustrating. It's just like... Maybe I can have like a 10% chance of things hitting. It hit, which is good. But just seeing those freaking effects like every time is just like demoralizing. It's so annoying. I really am not a fan of it. Okay. I believe that was the pattern. And, yeah, I mean, I, I should assume so by the fact that the game decided to suddenly go widescreen on me. Alright, let's head down now. And that probably did activate that thing down there. So let's do that. Have fun with that turny thing. The What is the word? The, fer the Ferris wheel. That's the word. Ay ay ay. Running on gears. Bye, Toddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice jump, kid. That was actually very impressive. I was sure you were going to just fall. But, no, you made it. That was very that was very cool. All right, let's head through this door. And see where it takes us. Hmm. Hmm. I was right. Wow, I had a hunch. Wasn't 100% sure, but I had a hunch. There we go. Let's do that, and then down we go. No, let me... Oh, oh. Hello? What is this? A coin. Wait a minute. Yes, I knew it. Point swap. So that's your partner's HP and FP cannot exceed max. No, we're good. We are good. I don't think I need that at the moment. Alrighty. Ooh, this is going to be fun. All right, just take it nice and easy. Very glad that I am playing on an official GameCube controller. It's the most precise controller that was ever made. There we go. And now, let's see if we can make the gap. Don't even know what I'm in for for the gap here. Do I want to go past that? I don't know if I do, but I'm going to stop on it anyway. Just to see what we can find in here. Hello. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. You tr really tried. You really tried. Golly. That was very scary. Okay. I have a plan for this fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big old gulp. 
There we go. And then we'll just straight up hammer the, the wizard in the back. Yeah, that's a good plan, I think. Anything to get rid of those chain chomps. I keep just barely missing that stylish timing, and it, like, is not letting me continue on to the third part of the animation. Which is very silly. What we got? Oh. Oh, you know what? I bet I know exactly how this works. Okay, so wait for it to come back in again. Okay, go, Toddy. Go, 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 go. We gotta hurry, we gotta hurry. Eh. Huh! Oh, barely made it. That was awesome. All right, give me this. And we got Palace Key. Awesome. Okay, so I am glad I went in here then because it was actually of import. Now let's head back. I have no idea what's down here. Dang it! I saw a life shroom. I want the life shroom, but now I'm going to be jumping on fire instead. Son of a gun. All righty. I'm going to do this. I know, it's totally unnecessary, but I'm going to do it because just because the fire guys are so freaking annoying here. Totally unnecessary. But I'm also not, like, too concerned about fighting any more bosses anytime soon. Let's just keep hitting them this, with this art attack. One more of those, please. One more. There we go. That should do it. They should both, all three of them be dead. And I don't need to go overkill with the supernova either, so. There we go. Awesome. So let's uh, head on over here. What do we got? Okay, we've got a few of these guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Uh, that's a little bit scary. Okay, I'm going to try... Whoa. I am going to try to land... Well, I really don't need another life shroom, do I? Maybe if I... Eh. Oh my goodness, I actually did it. Wow, that was amazing. Um, I'm just looking, seeing what I got. I really don't need a fourth one. It's just, it's, it's a little excessive. That sh actually, that shooting star might be a lot more useful at the moment. I'm going to try to get that. So, I'm going to pull off the exact same tactic I just used. So, pardon me while I do that. And let's just do that. And now we dive. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's get rid of that power punch. Yep, that's definitely way more useful than the power punch. Just four life shrooms is a little bit excessive, especially when they out they actually outclass my healing items. I would end up just using one of those life shrooms as a plain old super shroom, which would kind of be a waste if I'm being honest. Alrighty, like if I actually needed to use them all, obviously I don't think I will. I think I might need to use like one. We will certainly see, but and over here, ooh, okay. This is certainly, um, interesting. Oh, gosh, is this really it? No. No, it can't be. For real, though? I thought there was going to be more. Shoot. Well, all right. So, this is it. Through this door is the end of the game. I'm going to be holding off for a while. For a little while, a few episodes at the very least. We'll, we'll be going through that door, don't you worry. But I want to head back to Rogueport and I want to take care of some, so honestly, extraneous things. But things that will still be useful. I want to get myself some more badges. I want to fully optimize my loadout. Maybe get a couple more level ups. Get some nice items. All those sorts of things. There are still some really cool stuff that I want to take care of in this game. Uh, I want to do the trouble center. I want to go over some. I want to go over some stories and get some get some nice unique stuff. So we'll be saving all of that. I don't. I don't want to say for the next uh, next episode just yet because obviously it's way too early on in this episode. So you know what? I will see you all back in Rogueport. All righty, welcome back. Oh my gosh, fresh air. It honestly feels like good to be back here. I was like worried I'd never see this place again. But you know what? I'm glad I made the decision to actually come back because there are some things I still want to do here. Like, oh, freaking get this locked door open first of all. We'll have to worry about that at some point. But for now, let's head on in here into the trouble center and take a look at some of the stuff that we got. So there are some pretty interesting um, troubles that we can get. And a lot of these just reward coins which are not going to be the ones that I am focused on. I'm going to be going after the ones that give you actually pretty darn interesting and special uh, 
uh, rewards only. So the first of these is one that is actually available right from the start of the game, and that is this one with Musumilian. Hit me, please! Musumilian here, I need someone hel some help jogging my memory. Meet me in Rogue Pair, uh, Rogueport Square in front of the shop. Want to check on Musumilian's trouble? Yes! Do it, do it right! All right, so let's head on over in front of the shop. He's probably the one mouse that's standing out there in the front. And all we got to do is give him a good whack with our hammer, right? It's probably pretty easy. All these have varying degrees of difficulty, obviously. But we're going to meet a lot of interesting characters. What's up, Miss Million? Why did that not work? Okay. You accepted my trouble. I smell it. Thank you. I found a good lead on, on a way to make money, but I sort of forgot about it. So I want to use shock treatment to try to remember it. Yes, indeedy. Just keep hitting me in the head with the hammer until I remember. Be careful. If you hit me after I remember it, I'll forget again. Okay, let's do this. Okay. I just can't remember. I, I still can't, man. I just can't. It's not working. Nope, still not working. Nope, definitely not. How about now? Nope. Another one? Just can't remember. Oh my gosh, dude. This guy is struggling. Nope, it's just not coming to me. No indeedy. But we can definitely try again because I'm sure I'll remember eventually. So come back and hit me anytime, okay? Uh, I mean, I can certainly try. I gotta get this done, though. Okay. Seriously? Is this gonna actually work? Why isn't this working? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I know this is, like, doable. Come on! You remember? That's it. I remember now. I have to buy a sleepy sheep at the shop in Rogueport and sell it to it for a two-coin profit in Petalburg. Ah, let that tip be your reward. Don't spend all those profits. And you solve the trouble. That is your only reward is that he tells you that. So if you ever want to farm coins in the worst way possible... <laughs> Go do that. I know there are other variants of that exact same strategy that you can do throughout the game, especially in later parts of the game that net you a much bigger profit. But honestly, I don't know them off the top of my head, but that is uh, something that I don't think a lot of people really realize is that, yes, yeah, certain items sell for higher prices at other places. Okay, that is the first one. The next one that I want to do is this one. Try to find me, Kupuk. It's me, Kupuk, the wandering hide-and-seek champion. I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle right now, hiding like you read about. If you find me, I'll give you something good. Think you can do it? Really? Let's take on Kupuk's trouble. All right, so that means we are off to Petalburg once again, and consequently Hooktail's castle, to see if we can find this guy. And you're like, this is a pretty long-winded one. It better have a good reward. Well, actually, it does have a pretty darn good reward. In fact, um... I believe it's almost in the room right next to where where like where we need to go is right next to where we meet Miss Mouse. So I'm actually even I think I'm actually freaking going the wrong way. What am I doing? It's over this way. Jeez. Um, so I'm actually gonna just try to meet you guys there because I don't really need to show you show me walking all the way there. So I will see you there in just a second. Alrighty, so once you hit this room, which is up on like the third or fourth floor of the castle or something like that, what you're going to do is you're going to head over here and do that, and then let this thing carry you up, and oh, look who it is! That is the guy we are looking for at the moment, so let's jump down here. There's a life room there, actually, I had no idea. Blast! So you found me! Curses! I felt sure that no, none would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see? I love sneaking and hiding so much, I just never stop! It was a hobby, but I kept hiding, and soon I was known as the hide-and-seek Koopa. Koopook, I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when you, we were barely shell high. Koops, is that you? Yes, Koops, the same Koops who's always, uh, who always had to be it when we played hide and seek. But you never found me. Not even once. I can't believe you finally did it. Yeah, I remember back then that one day you hid and then no one ever found you. Right, that was the very day that I decided to become the hide and seek Koopa. Ever since that day, I've been hidden, snuck and snuck and hid my way through life. Yep, that was a crazy day. Man, this is this sounds like a conversation that a lot of people have when they're, it's like awkward and you haven't met a you know seen a friend in a long time and you realize that you never really were friends in the first. But never mind. <laughs> Too specific. A parlor card, uh, a parlor card that lets you play the plane mode game. Found this while I was traveling and hiding around the world. I don't need it. Well, I'm off. Time to go look for a new hiding place. Wish me luck. I guess I've got uh, I've still got a lot to learn about hiding. If you found me, Coops, it was nice seeing you again. Though, see you later. And so out of here he goes. We solved the trouble. All right, so that is it for that one. Now, that is actually going to allow us to use, uh, to go into the Pianta Parlor, which we have not yet been in, in this playthrough, and we'll, we'll be getting around to that soon enough, and don't you worry, but, uh, let's go solve ourselves one more trouble before we call this an episode. Uh, well, actually, I've, I have no idea how long this episode has dragged on for at this point, in terms of time, so maybe I honestly should call it here. I, whoa, I don't know, though. We'll see. Okay. Jeez, man. Absolutely crazy right now. 
Um, yeah, we'll probably, you know, probably should call an episode. Uh, but we'll be going after more troubles in the next episode. We still have so many different little things to do. I mean, when I say so many, I mean, like, probably, like, a couple of episodes worth. Like, maybe, like, th maybe, like, three, four max, uh, of episodes left to do things, uh, in this game. So, uh... We'll call this one good for now. We'll take care of another trouble in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.